Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching, I don't know why I'm so happy about it. Uh, this is supposed to be a really horrific slasher. But regardless, we are watching the Texas, the, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one from uh, 1974. If you're new here and you don't know, my favorite horror film of all time is A Nightmare on Elm Street from 84. Reasons why I love that movie so much, although I don't think it would have been as scary to me if I had watched it for the first time now that I'm grown up. But back then, as a child, <laughs> yeah. One of the reasons why I consider it the best of all time is because there's definitely a sentimental thing going on. But um, one of the main reasons is that not only is it really terrifying that an entity is chasing you in your dreams, messing with your mind, if they kill you within the dream, you're actually dead. There's the psychological element to it. I know that Nightmare on Elm Street is considered a slasher, but I get a feeling, I haven't even seen the trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is it, wait, is it Massacre or Massacres? No, Massacre, okay. But I got a feeling that this movie is going to take the slasher genre into a whole new level, mainly because there's a chainsaw <laughs> in the mix. Yeah, also it's kind of creepy that uh, I, I believe those are humans that are gonna kill people because there's this famous poster with someone who looks like a, just a dude, regular dude, holding a chainsaw. Maybe they're cannibals. I predict there's not really any interesting background story, like Revenge, for example. I think it's gonna be similar to Wrong Turn. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, although I've seen a lot of uh, ugly, creepy, nauseating things <laughs> over the years, I, I'm still kind of nervous going into this movie. But luckily it's only like 80 minutes. <laughs> So hopefully it's gonna go by fast. And uh, with that being said, let's start watching. I do hope you're ready. I'm, I'm not sure I am. Let's begin. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. Tally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. Invalid? The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Pause. Is this based on true events? Oh no. <sighs> okay, we gotta do it. Okay, let's continue. I have to look up what's, uh, what the invalid is. Is he some kind of a bastard? Or disabled somehow? Oh. No, no. Oh, sh <gasps> oh, shoot. To a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Newt. This connects out. This is like a direct connection to aliens. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. I really like this shot. It looks like they put the, the body in a position of um, some kind of a clown or a joker. Okay. Here are the brother and sister, I presume. Uh, okay, that's what they. Okay, that's what they meant by invalid, like I thought. Okay. Oh! Oh, fucking poor! Oh, Jesus! This is so. This is horrible, but also probably very. Embarrassing for him. Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. My granddaddy's buried here. Can we find out if any? <laughs> I I'm laughing because back then they used to just have the girls have uh, wearing a shirt but have no bra, so you you would see like the the nipples because it sells. <laughs> What's that? What smells? Are those bodies? 
Uh, the burning flesh. The old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. They bash him in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's awful. It usually would. It really is awful. They have to come up and bash him two or three times, and then sometimes it wouldn't kill him. I mean, they'd skin them sometimes even before they were even oh, dead. Oh, people shouldn't kill animals for food. <laughs> Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it. What? Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? No. Maybe he's trying to run away. He looks really terrified. Yeah, he seems in a hurry. <laughs> oh, shit. How'd you get stuck way out here? I, I was at the slaughterhouse. My family's always been in me. Look. <gasps> I was the killer. <laughs> and they scrape all the flesh away from the bone. It's really good. You like it? Yeah, sure. I, I like it. Uh, it's good. Donkey. What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I have this knife. Oh, hello. It's a good knife. I'm sure it is, man. So, did he cut his face too? Is that even working? I don't think it's working. There's no. Oh, it is. Take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. We're in pretty much of a hurry. You, you can have dinner with us. My brother makes it real good. You like. Oh, no. no. Is that weed or something worse? Oh, it's. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, can you drive faster, please? Oh, Jesus. That's the last goddamn hitchhiker I ever heard. Oh, hey, yo. Upsetting persons around you could make this a disturbing and unpredictable day. <laughs> Would you fill her up, please? I got no gas. You're out of gas? My tank's empty. Transport won't be here until late this afternoon. Oh, great. Hey, you know where the old Franklin place is? Boys don't want to go mess around the old house. You know something. You don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. Oh, my father owns it. And that's your daddy's place, huh? I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? Franklin maniac tearing up the van. Yeah, I just start doing that. Hey, I bet that's some of that guy's blood. You think that's blood? Yeah, I guess so. Um, he, the guy cutting him somehow made him crazy? If he starts walking suddenly, I'm gonna be... Uh, uh, uh. Do you think I said something made him mad? <laughs> no, he was already mad. What? Frankly, you're crazier than he was. <laughs> Notice the place where. Oh my god, they're marked. So I'm thinking the guy from the gas station, he purposefully drove them to Newt. Let me see your knife. Franklin, if we run out of gas before we get back to that service station, you told us back in your chair. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make a bold claim now. So far, I'm liking these characters so much more than the characters we see in Halloween. And so far, the movie is more to my liking than Halloween. What I find so likable about these characters is that other teenagers, I'm guessing they're like 18, 19 maybe, they wouldn't want to bring a handicapped person along with them and they try to do everything to make him feel more comfortable but but now i'm thinking where's my knife kurt he's been uh, he's starting to become very obsessed with his knife 
So I'm thinking maybe it was a wrong idea to bring him along. Oh, I hate bees! Wait, are those bees? Wait, what the fuck? Are those spiders? I hate spiders too. Why is no one bringing him in? I was just saying how I like them because they're so nice to him and helping out. <laughs> Oh, Franklin, calm the fuck down. Hey, Franklin. Hey, Franklin. What's wrong? Didn't you say there's a swimming hole around here? And what is Franklin supposed to do? We'll see you in an hour or so. We'll see you in about an hour or so. Hmm. Um. Uh, the, uh, what the fuck? Franklin, Sally? No. They said they wanted to... S don't... Don't go over there. I don't want your guitar. They're not gonna want to sell us any gas. Let's just go back now. Mm, I think we're looking at our first victims. These are the cars of all the victims. The previous ones. Oh... That's foreshadowing. The home looks kind of innocent with the swing, the white swing. The entire house is white. It looks in good condition, so you wouldn't suspect that something's up. <gasps> but something is up. Hello? Uh, okay, so what? You're just gonna go in? Fucking go! It sounds like a man pig. What? <gasps> no! <laughs> it's just like with the cows, the story told about how they use the hammer, sometimes three times. That, I, that's a really interesting shot. They have some really interesting shot in this movie. I don't know if some of it was to show off her booty, but it was still very interesting. Oh, no. <sighs> fuck, fuck. I mean, that's what scared you? The chicken? It's just... Okay, that's scary. Okay, I think it's time for you to leave, Pam. Oh my god. Are you fucking stupid? Just fucking go! <gasps> God, oh my god. That was so stupid. Why would you take your time and then scream like, oh, she joy. I gave him your name, Franklin. I told him where you live. I even gave him your zip code. He's gonna kill you. Jerry, what are you doing? I can't find my knife. When did you have it last? You had it last. I gave it to you, remember? You just never gave it back to me. All right, I'll look for it. I can't find it. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. You really didn't want me to come, did you? Oh, Franklin, I'm just tired. It's been a long day. Did you believe in all that stuff that Pam was telling about Saturn and retrograde and all that? Everything means something, I guess. You don't think that guy try and follow us, do you? Well, I mean, there's no way that he could follow us. <laughs> Sally? What now? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. 
Hmm. Maybe Franklin will be the only one to survive this whole tragedy because Franklin has the has the wound on his arm. Maybe they wouldn't want to take him. Pam, is that you? Oh, hello. Come on. No. <laughs> no. Dude, no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, they're still half alive or something? Why did he seem upset? He seemed really upset about killing uh, what's his name. They've been waiting this long. They must be lost. If they're not back in a minute, we've got to go look for them. But what if we get lost too? We ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. Are the keys in the van? Franklin, let me see the flashlight. I'm gonna go look for him. You don't have to go. Having another person go now in the dark after they've been waiting there, like, I don't know how long, an hour at least. Sally, they took the keys. It's, we don't oh. have any keys. <laughs> I'll go with you, but I'm gonna hold Never mind, like... I'll just go without it. This is so... Girl, don't be fucking stupid. I feel like Franklin is the only sensible guy in that whole group. They don't even think that maybe there's a possibility that there's a serial killer over there and maybe they shouldn't shout so loudly. Okay, now the cinematography went from being really good to like unwatchable. I literally <laughs> can't see anything. Don't. I hear something there. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop. <gasps> we lost friend clean. Shoes. <laughs> what? Why are you going? She did have some plot armor back there <laughs> in the stairs. He could have easily taken her out. Okay. Oh, she's still screaming. I was about to, to say she at least she stopped screaming. <laughs> But she didn't. How long is this chase going going to take? Uh, we still have half an hour or so. <laughs> is this going to be half an hour of running? Okay, plot armor again. I understand why, but it's still poorly done. Oh, wait, the gas station? It's that close? Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, no, I don't know. Call the police. There's nobody out there now. There's no, no phone here. There is over there. Isn't that a phone? He's in on the whole thing. He's the one who led them to Newt. What is he? Oh. What what is he making? Is that the inside of someone? Like the colon? What are you doing? Here we go. No need to worry. No! 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 Are you fucking serious? She should have at least stabbed him once. She doesn't even have to kill him because I get that we need to have this movie longer, but 
<laughs> At least stab him once. Why does she need to be put inside of a bag? She already knows the way to and back from the gas station, so... So, what's the point? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a cool shot with the lighting on his face and he, his creepy smile. I like that. Half witch? What? Who the fuck is that? Oh, the hitchhiker! I thought you was in a hurry. <laughs> Where are the kids? Where are they showing? Oh, uh, get away. <laughs> you damn fool! You ruined the door! Get upstairs and get your grandpa! I feel horrible for the girl. Just take it easy, huh? Take it easy, huh? We'll have something right away. Again, really cool shots. Give me a hand with grandpa. grandpa. And the other one is grandma, I assume. So we met almost the entire family. I wonder where the mother is. Why? What? What? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is crazy. She's doing a really good job. Grandpa has some fun. You always said he's the best. My old grandpa's the best killer there ever was. Oh. No, no, please. <laughs> How are they expecting him to do anything with the hammer? This is so dumb. Fuck. <laughs> They're not chasing after her? <sighs> oh, it took you long enough. Wait, doesn't she have the knife? She's supposed to have the knife. Oh my god, she... Oh no, he's gonna die too! Uh... Oh shit, he's running! Oh shit! Why, why aren't you just going? What the f... Wouldn't you agree that was stupid? <gasps> okay, maybe it... Why didn't they just go? They have a tire maybe? Flat tire? No, I don't think so. Go. Wait, where's the driver? Where's the truck driver? Well, that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would say it started off really good, but then there was a lot of plot armor. Can I can I give it a slack? Because even in current plot uh, horror movies, we have plot armors. But uh, I could still enjoy the movies. 
I don't know, because it happened too many times. It also bugged me when she couldn't even stab the, the father once, maybe maybe even just give him like a, a surface wound, something. And she didn't even try to grab the broom he was hitting her with. Um, so... So yeah, it kind of bugged me. I did like the cinematography in this movie. I thought there were some interesting shots, although there were parts where I barely saw anything. There were also a, like too much, too, too much screaming. I thought the actress did a wonderful job conveying actual fear and terror in her eyes. I thought she did a really good job, but yeah, too much, too much too much noise at times also there was no you know what i noticed there was no there was no soundtrack no interesting theme or melody to accompany the the movie in any part even if there was something nothing memorable so i know at some point in in uh, the movie i said that so far the movie is more to my liking than Halloween. But honestly, with all its flaws, I think Halloween was better because there was a lot of really good acting. Uh, well, let me let me rephrase that. Good acting on the part of the psychiatrist, the the person who played the psychiatrist, and more suspense. So yeah. <laughs> The reason why I'm comparing the two is because I think Halloween is the only other slasher I've seen on this channel. And uh, I had a lot of issues with that one as well. That's why I'm comparing the two. And I think they came out around the same time. Halloween came out, yeah, 78. So would I recommend the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to, to horror lovers? Probably not. I would more likely recommend Halloween, but not uh, Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, I said that I'm gonna check to see if that was actually based on true events somehow. Okay, Wikipedia says the film was marketed as being based on true events to attract a wider audience. Although the character of Leatherface and minor story details were inspired by the crimes of murderer Ed Gain, its plot is largely fictional. Another thing that really bugged me, they, instead of driving away, they left the truck and then she ran away without the driver. Where's the driver? It doesn't seem like he had a flat tire. So I really have no idea why why they didn't just drive away. It also doesn't seem as though Leatherface ruined any of the tires. He could have very easily with his saw, but that doesn't matter because instead of driving, they just come out of the other side of the truck. Even Leatherface has had some, uh, a little bit of plot armor because the saw should have gone through his whole leg. Uh, okay, what's with the driver? He could have just, oh, wait, what? He could have just gone on the, on the truck in the car where the character, our main character, like the less survivor was on, but instead he just kept on running. I know this movie was probably terrifying when it came out and it means a lot to many people but you have you have to acknowledge those flaws and those are to me really big flaws especially the ending with the truck driver just running away instead of going into the the car that can save him the positives like I said some really nice shots that I really liked, especially, you know what, I, I, which uh, uh, shot I liked the most? The one where uh, Pam is walking towards the house and the camera is following her from like, from the bottom looking up. That was really, really cool. So I liked that and I kind of liked the characters overall. I also liked uh, Franklin's death. <laughs> I actually felt 
<laughs> I thought maybe he would be the last survivor because we had so much focus on him in the first uh, in the first scene. Uh, but uh, Nightmare on Elm Street still kicks everyone's ass. Uh, oh, and uh, yeah, I did kind of call in my seat in a few uh, in a few killing scenes. So that's a um, a point for the movie. Uh, yeah, that's it for me for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'll probably do, if I can find that movie, I'll probably do something really old-timey or Rosemary's Baby. Yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie or how upset you were with me for not liking certain parts of the movie. I know some of you really enjoy uh, <laughs> being edgy in the comments and letting me know how much you hate my video. I know I'm not uh, as good as the movie. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!